All right, so I'm on my last coil. All right, so again, just make sure it stays super tight. As you've been watching, place your last one in. Oop. Try that again. I'm just gonna pull this like this. Pull this a little bit. See if I can tighten this up a little bit. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna open this back up. Now plug. Remember that half an inch. You can hold it. Go around. time and I put some glue on the back side I'm gonna hold that down a little bit be careful don't push when you're standing it up and this little split I'm gonna actually put some glue in there keep that down Kind of, I don't know, 10. So this is one magazine. All right, so while that's holding, and I would probably wait till um, the next day to do the next step. So um, at this point, you can kind of form your piece of how you want it. If you were doing it the whole entire time, like you're watching me, um, it kind of gives that shape of where you're supposed to uh, create that form. This part right here will be my foot, right? So when we open this up, it you have to be really careful not to move too fast because you don't want to um, split your coils. Remember, the thickness of your wall is only a quarter of an inch. So as you do this, you're gonna want to um, go sl slow as possible and make sure you're just kind of doing it evenly. Also, the surface that you're working on, um, you will want to um, kind of get wax paper or foil or something so you're not gluing on the table. I have a little tab that's open, so I'm just going to put a little glue in here, kind of press it down. So again, you can check your outside edges. Make sure you don't have any more sticking out. So again, I would wait till the next day to do this so that um, I am guaranteed like my tabs are down and um, so I don't have to worry about or stress about um, my piece like separating, coming unfolded. Okay, so. So making the bowl. So then you'll use scrap paper or foil or whatever. And you're gonna slowly, like I said, slowly walk your walls. Don't be in a rush. Be super upsetting if you guys move too fast and your walls start collapsing. Just kind of walk it through. 
that happens a little bit, that's okay. Again, this is a whole magazine. So again, just keep walking, go spin it around like you had clay in your hand. Again, don't be in a rush. Take your time. Start seeing this beautiful bowl that you worked so hard on. my edge and lift that up and again if you rotate your bowl you'll actually um, it'll work out easier for you because you can see and feel the evenness of your wall so you can see inside my piece the evenness that's happening um, just again take your time don't rush when you rush that's when you're gonna have disasters hit so it's not a race and you can actually feel with your thumb where you're starting to like your walls haven't like worked too uh too well or you need to push down certain areas or so again just kind of check the bottom of your piece again this is your project not your parents so do not have your parents helping you all right, so when you're done, put it down, upside down, and you can make sure it sits flush. Then check the opposite side, make sure your bowl sits flush. So you're gonna check a couple times if it looks like it's slouching. That means that you gotta have to stick your fingers and tweak your walls. So your bowl should sit nice and even, like so. So this is what the outside looks like so far. You can see I'm just kind of slowly pulling that rim up or any any areas. So you can see where areas. Oops. Just be careful. If it drops on you, that's okay. One more check okay it sits even all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put some clear glue on this um, let me get my paintbrush
you do not want to glue the bottom. Do not glue this bottom. You're only going to glue the sides. You go back and forth. You can use a decoupage if you want. Do a little at a time. left open you will um the glue will cover that and close it so it will lock um lock it into place so oh, be careful don't push because you'll push your pot down so you can double check that make sure it sits fleshy flush you can hold it in your hand just again got to be super careful because it's just like an accordion it's going to open and close on you so be careful You can use regular Elmer's glue if you want. That's that side, and then, like I said, just be super careful. You gotta paint the inside again with your glue. That way, it doesn't move on you. So you can paint your outside. So like I said, this you do in, um, the next day. Don't um, don't be in a hurry to do it all on the same day. Make sure you get in the little crooks and crevices. Make sure do not push on this because it will collapse on you. And then you'll have to be a start one again. You also can use decoupage, glossy or matte, if you want to go get that. Otherwise, Elmer's glue does the same thing.
Once you're done painting with your glue or decoupage, it's really important that you clean your paintbrush out um, with soapy hot water. Again, don't paint the very bottom. You can paint the very bottom on the inside, but don't do it on the outside. Otherwise, it's going to stick to whatever surface you're working on. All right. So I'm going to just kind of hold that down a little bit so it doesn't. Thank you for doing this. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. So you're Korean. I am. But you grew up here in the States. I did. I came from Tucson, Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is your end result, and I'm sure yours will look fabulous. So remember, when you're folding your magazines, make sure that like, you have your colors, um, color sides, okay? All right.